morning everybody welcome to the diamond painting cavern i am carla and today we are going to do a nifty little trick that i am organizing some rhinestones so let's give you the backstory. i purchased this cute container for my granddaughter who was new to diamond painting and it comes with lots i got this off of craftably but as you can tell, there is definitely, and there's a whole nother layer that goes in here. So it holds 54 total containers. It's got another layer here. She put all of her numbers on the stickers. And we have to do some de-kitting. So we completed a project. Let me grab it and I will show you. She started it, decided grandma needed to finish it. And that's what I did. I finished this for her. I'm not sure. I think I got this from Joann's. But you can see. Look at all the pretty glistening. Of those rhinestones and the pearls. Um, so she asked Grandma if she would finish it for her. Because she kind of lost interest. <laughs> so I did. And I will be giving that to her when I see her again. So for now... We're going to de-kit what she has in rhinestones. And what I use, I'll insert a picture here. There is drawers that you can get on Amazon. That's where I got mine. And I decided that this would be a good storage for the rhinestones because rhinestones, anything that's left over, I would typically use maybe to dress up a Christmas card, add a few little bling to something down the road. So I want to be able to have my rhinestones separate from my just extra, extra drills. So, I came up with this. Um, this drawer, you can see, is my rhinestones in odd sizes. I put the label on here. And then what I have been doing is putting a little glue dot. Also, you can purchase on Amazon at your local craft store. This is a micro dot. Some um, diamond painters will put this in their glue pens. I was using this to put a little dot on the lid and then whatever was in the container, like this one has some gold stars. So in the container is all of my gold stars. Um, so different things, little pink gem there and there's some rhinestones in there that are pink. But what I found with rhinestones is sometimes they tend to be the same between kits. So I can combine different kits and do different things. Like this is a really cute pink. I'm not even sure what kit that came out of, but isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. And so there was some extras that I had. So I thought if I put it on the lid, I can know at a glance if I have something or what I'm looking for to dress up um, my cards in the Christmas time, whenever it gets here. So. Let's get started. I have some, I pulled out the empty bottles and I have her colors here. And I thought, well, let's get started right off the bat. Well, this looks like one round and that is not rhinestones. So, and rhinestones typically will have like a silver underbelly. It looks more like glass. So this, I'm gonna set off to the side cause this may go in my 310 DMC. Let's see what's number two. Ooh, it's a really pretty yellow. And I do not have any yellow rhinestones that color. So this is what I'm doing. Let me open up my box. Inside you'll see a roll of these little mini dots. And I'm trying to see if I can. They're hard to show you because they're clear. I just take my bottle, tip it upside down, make sure I get the dot, which I do. It's right there right there can you see it and then the fun begins because now I guess I should I need my diamond pen and I don't have any wax in my diamond pen let me put some wax in here okay Oop. ding and ding and ding and all right so this is what I do let me flip it over here a little bit in there I'm gonna take that one out and I lost it. <laughs> Picked it up uh, upside down. I'm going to stick that right there on that lid where that little dot is. And then I'm just going to go ahead and empty that in there. 
I'm going to empty the lid in there. A couple decided they wanted to stick around. Because then I can give my granddaughter her little container back. And she can use that for whatever she wants to use it for. Maybe she will get into, she's only seven, so there's still time. So there's my yellow, I'll put that in there. And that number two is now empty. And oh, we got a pink one. Hmm, let me look. I don't see another pink, so here we go again. Let's, let me, I'm trying to keep me on camera and I keep meandering myself off of the camera so you can't see what I'm doing. Again, stick my little sticky on there. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't keep yours for whatever reason, you, you collect it, you trash it, whatever, um, I'm sure that there's somebody in the community that would love to give them a good home. Um, I have some friends that have sent me their extra drills, and I am grateful for it. And I add them into my own stash of drills. At some point, I plan to do a heaven and earth design. And my goal is to not have to buy the drills to do it, or at least by minimum. So that helps, helps me to start a stash of sorts. So there's number three empty. So let's pull out number four. Well, this is a darker pink, and I, mm, nope, don't have that either. So, I think you get the gist of what I'm doing. I just thought this was a neat way to kind of, when I want to bling something up, this makes it a lot easier to do that. If I can get the, and I just don't want to be bothered with putting them in the tray, and because I don't want to be bothered with putting them into the tray, I risk emptying them all over my table <laughs> whenever the little thing falls over. So today is Monday. It is April 18th, day after Easter. Hope everybody had a wonderful Easter. Um, I mentioned I have grandchildren. I have two grandsons and one granddaughter. And I have three daughters that I have given birth to. Three of my daughters. I should say. Hopefully I'm staying up there where I'm supposed to be. I'm sorry if I'm coming out of view. So there's number four. And let's pull number five. Ooh, that's a pretty purple. I do not, definitely do not have any purples yet. I'm still in the early phases of doing this process because I've been thinking, like, how can I, how would I utilize one, that system. Some people use that system that I inserted a picture of to do their they to do their actual kits and they they put it out on their table and that's how they do their projects. I like the bottle system, but I don't use these bottles for that. I have a different system that comes in a case and it makes it all good for me. Ooh, look at that teal. Isn't that pretty? Um, and I don't have any teals. Go figure. This might turn into a bigger process. So, we're talking about Easter. So, I hope everybody had a good Easter. I actually, I worked on Easter so that my staff could be off. I work in a home care agency and I am a, my title is clinical admissions manager, but I oversee our coding, our authorizations, our intake department and our virtual or telehealth department. So we do virtual visits, um, monitoring patients, and it was very fulfilling. Well, look at that, there's just one heart there. One little heart. I think what I'll do is I'll just, hmm, hmm. I don't know that I wanna put that on top of anything because who knows. So I think what I'll do is I will leave that one just inside since it's a solo heart that I only have that one and I'll kind of put that back towards the back and I'll put a question mark on the top or I'll, I'll put a little sticker like this and say, you know, put a miscellaneous so that it, if I have onesies of things, 
that'd be a good place to start and see if I can use those up. Oh, here's some little white pearls. And I do think I did have some white pearls here. I do. And those are close enough in size that I think I can put them all together because certainly I can tell those apart. So we're just gonna add those into the pearl jar that I already had and we'll put those away. And now they're all mixed together, see? These are just, um, not every kit comes with rhinestones. Oh, there's some little glass stars. Um, boy, you would think I'd have had those. But what if we put, since it's a star shape, what if we put it together with the other stars? Because silver and gold could go together quite nicely. And if I put them both on the lid, I will know that I have both those colors in there because then it becomes a shape thing, right? And I'll just combine them together. I'm okay with that. I can tell silver and gold apart. And now I know, and it uses my containers more efficiently. So anyways, and I think that was all of those. Yep. So. That puts all of her stuff, let's her have her container back. Um, so anyway, it was nice talking to people yesterday. Um, some of them, I was the only person they've talked to in a week. Um, and that's very fulfilling. It was wonderful to be able to tell them happy Easter on Easter and um, make sure that they were doing okay. And I also got to play Easter Bunny for my grandbabies. Um, I think I have some other ones that need kitted up that was sent to me, but I don't see them right here handy. So I'm thinking that may be it for today. So here's the start to my rhinestones. There's my rhinestone tray, all my different shapes and sizes. I know I have some others I was gonna do, but I don't see them here handy. So I'll have to figure out where I put them so that we can do some together. Hmm, not sure where I put them. Well, I'm, hopefully this little tip and trick was helpful for you. Help me, because now I can get my little containers all cleaned off of my desk. I can give my granddaughter, finish this up onto like a, a I'm going to put it on a canvas for her. Um, and then my table is free that I can do more diamond painting in the near future. You can see I've got a couple more probably in another bin here some empty ones so that's all you need is your glue dots your your rhinestone gems or your odd shaped gems a lot of times these come in card kits or um you know just some extra little bling that you can add so yeah so i'm hoping that i will be able to as i get more of these i'll be able to line them up like all the pinks all the blues you know but you can see, like, there's very there's very subtle difference in some of these. Um, there's a teal. There's a um, a blue, a blue, a bigger blue. You know, some of the golds. I definitely am liking having the the flexibility of being able to use those this Christmas and kind of sparkle up my stuff. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for coming and visiting with me in my diamond painting cavern. Let me know how you store your drills and have a wonderful day. Bye all.